Hello, and welcome to the Phoenix Game Show with the Fighting Cock last time. Paradurfell. The wind slowly moved in ash along the Vale of the Vale of Udrin, and further along the Morgul Road. In the distance, the ash mountains and the mountains of and the mountains of shadow filled the sky with their black peaks. Between the mountain ranges on the wasteland of Golgoroth, campfires burned bright. Songs of victory can be heard from the camps of the foes of Mordor. Baradur has fallen. The bodies of orcs, Ulukai, and trolls alike fill the channels and fissures which spread along the plateau. The highest tower is breached and has all but collapsed. The dark tower is greatly diminished but not yet destroyed. As long as the One Ring exists, his spirit endures. The tower's foundations was laid with its power and cannot be unmade while it remains. The Ancient of Shadow will eventually return and the armies of darkness are sure to follow. Well, pretty much Mordor is dead. What can I say? Wait, really? What is Mordor left to fight me? I lost a lot of my guys there. Wow. Um, Mordor is... Yes, my lord. It's gone. Like, With honor! This is their second last time. As you command! Tarband, which is... I can't see we shall it. engage! That sucks. And Aragorn... I'll send Aragorn, actually, after... Your orders, my lord. This line over here? I know there's one over here somewhere. Yes! So Aragorn can go deal with that. Aragorn's still fresh. I also noticed this thing has the plague, which is good, my okay, dad. So what I'm gonna do is, you guys are all gonna ban this location, and you're gonna get out of it, because I do not want you guys to get the plague. So I'm gonna get you guys on the road and With get honor, out of here. We can go no further, my lord. Nobody watched out here. This tower will keep you can vigil see the over the lands. You can see Mount Doom itself, and hopefully it did good while the enemy. A noble dead, which is Melvin. Yes, my lord. That was that guy. Okay, that's that sucks. And it affected the Halberet and my other generals, which isn't good. Oh god damn it. So they can die of the plague. Perfect. Alright. Now there's not much can happen in Your this will, my battle. Lord. No, maybe I can send those guys down south in order to reinforce. Yeah, that might be a thing. As you wish. Right, we'll so there's not much going to happen here except me ending the turns because the campaign is pretty much over. We saw the Rohan army being obliterated. Actually, we just saw the fight. So. Your orders, my lord. Yeah, whatever. Just to show yes. them off. And the Merkwood men here are not going to do much anymore. Have a taste of my blade. Kind of gone. And most of the border is. Have a taste of my blade. I'll look at the faction scrolls. Let's do that actually for a second. Where's Mordor? There's Mordor. Mordor is on the verge of collapsing completely. The military is nothing. Their production is zero. Territorial, two settlements as far as I know. And financially, they're nothing. Population, they're nothing. I'm just growing as we speak, and I'm just the superpower that can't stop. Of all people, they are the last that can stop me. They are so beaten. The only faction of evil that has a chance of stopping me still would potentially be Harad, Combined, Tkant, and Uva. That's it. That front can be very dangerous. Rune is not going to be that hard because Rune is being sieged by the dwarves and the Winion. Because the Winion is very far into the heartlands. As you can see here, this is the Winion. And this is Rune. So they're pretty far in their capital considering that Rune almost starts off at this location. They're into their territory. And that's a rich land. That's a rich settlement to lose. Lest is very, very rich. I've noticed that in my Rune campaign. So yeah, let's end turn and see what happens. Because Mordor is virtually on the the ground of this is virtually on the uh, on the edge of destruction. And even if my armies that I currently have are on Mordor cannot finish it, there are so many more men coming in that they can't stop the tide of, of war. They would eventually be, be swept away. It's like an endless sea that would just sweep them away. But wait, give me a second. I'll pause the video for a second. Alright, sorry about that. But the thing is now, with the end of turn, nothing really special happened, and pretty much we are moving forwards towards Mordor's last Lord level of my lord. Tarban being one of them. Tarban's a wooden castle, we nothing special. Prevail. However, it has quite yes. some levy, as you can see. They might actually come outside. If they come outside, I'd actually be happy, because the trolls will hopefully be ripped apart, and the entire army will hopefully be ripped apart. So the fact that it has, they are very clumped up, I can't really predict that, but I hope they come out. Also, the plague is still here on Halberd. I yes, probably should my spread lord. my generals out a bit, because they will start affecting each other all the time. Your orders, I do my hope lord. they don't affect Ar Aragorn when he's passing by. We shall like, continue tomorrow. Aragorn dies of the plague. Yes, my lord. Oh, thank you, game. Making camp here. Just what I wanted. Aragorn to die of the freaking plague out of nowhere. Oh well. 
If it happens, it happens. I mean, I can't just stop and like, uh, well, I can stop it by going the other direction. But, you know. Orders. Good luck with that. I mean, really. By your command. March. Your orders, I'm just building watchtowers here. I'm probably not doing anything at watchtower, but lands. Yeah, a bit. This is a My lord guy. speaks highly of you. Makes you wonder, why the hell is there a Breedon guy here? Bit. But I'm turn again because it's gonna happen now quite a bit. That's a Gondorian army. What are they doing over there? And that's the entire army of, of my entire army is moving into the Italian forest, as you can see there. Or at least those Gilead. I mean, that's quite a lot of guys moving to those Gilead. It's pretty much over. Aragorn can easily take that last settlement that is there. I'm pretty sure there's a settlement there. It has to be. It's not that it's that big. No, it's not that big, right? If it is that big, I mean, something is wrong with Mordor. Okay, I says the fact from Benelli. Okay, I need to help you with that army. I mean, really? Do you accept this? Uh, yes, I do. Yes, I accept. Yeah. Oh, well, they died off anyway. <laughs> Never mind. Um, that did that did nothing for them. Um, Holberg, Kimil Bohan. Kind of control half of Rohan, to be honest. I control Fulberg, the Holmberg. That is kind of <laughs> two of major Rohan settlements. That's kind of big for them to lose. Be on the Shire, King of Dale, Vin of Anduin, Vin of Dominion. Nothing special about them. Mordor is what I really care about. It's the only faction. And maybe Kant. Maybe Kant comes in. Who knows? Maybe Kant can actually fight me. They actually have a bordering territory with me, so to speak. But I doubt they will do anything with that. I'm, going, I'm controlling it fairly well. Also, Aragorn is passing by there before we go to finish our motor, so... Eh, I don't really see anything happening there. The dwarves are trying to bribe me. Nothing special. Come on, stop that dwarves. You're not gonna get it. I have more money than you, I think. I think I'm the most... I'm the most richest, I remember. I'm the most richest, so I have more money than you, so it matters not to me. Well... My guys, maybe I'll greet you. Who knows? Great aims of Linden. I am kindly not going to mess with those guys ever. Because, first of all, they're so far away from any form of battle. Why would I mess with them? Second of all, is they are kind of powerful. Their infantry is insane. And then their elves, which makes sense. They are insane. At least they're... Well, the thing is, the difference between the high elves and them is that the high elves are killed off into settlements. Linden is not that easy. <laughs> they are very spread out. They are the largest elven kingdom. Pretty much. Um, well, largest. It's, they have the largest territory, which means they have the most time. Which means you have to fight them for the longest. How, how, Galadrim is pretty easy. If you can pin them into their locations and they don't want to come out, you just starve them out. <laughs> and that's it. Same thing with, with, uh, with uh, Elrond, with High Elves. With Elrond, in Lodras. You just, you just, um, yeah, you just actually just starve them out. Well, at least only my general. At least the city doesn't have any uh, infections anymore. It it just has to be my luck. They go only for in a second into their territory, and they have they can track I'm the diseases. I'm gonna stick you. Only for one second they enter freaking territory, and they have, they have contracted diseases that I shouldn't have. Oh well. Yes, my lord. Yes. Move over here quickly. It's gonna take you some while to get here. We shall continue you guys tomorrow. Not to show you guys, but this uh, should be it. Keep going. Come on, get faster. Meantime, Tom, we can go inside. Yes, but if I go inside, eh, two, three troll units. Good luck. That's like the ultimate defense. Like th that's like cavalry, super cavalry on freaking walls. I'm pretty sure. Uh, actually, it's a wooden, it's a modern bailey or wooden castle. I'm not really sure they can have walls, but. That's, I'm not sure about that. Also, there's one Nazgul there, as far as I know. This, yes, I accept it. They probably will not fight anyway, considering it's like, what, a Nazgul? Accept, yes. Eh, yeah, it's a Nazgul. Well, move with them. Maybe one, maybe one unit. But that's it. Rohan has completely held the invasion. The invasion's over. Uh, there's maybe some runes drinking in. Maybe some Hadrim units. Sure, maybe. But even then, they have to go through maybe the Gondorian lands or my lands, so they'll be spotted. And the rune units are so far away, and they're also fighting the Winian and the Dwarves, so they're kind of busy. Same thing with Haradrim, they're fighting Dolomgrot. 
and it seems like the, the Hanadrim has pushed a bit down to the north. They took a settlement away from Gurumrat. Pretty much, just, they're pretty much are fighting each other to a standstill, these guys. So, yeah. Wait one. Please stop doing that, dwarves. You're taking up time. Look at this. <laughs> That's right. That just takes forever because they're trying to bribe all my settlements. Oh well. Stop doing that. Yeah, Luana's not doing that. Oh. Those guys are doing it, so yeah. <laughs> At least Ed Lewin is kind enough to not try to buy my stuff away. Oh well. Rune, are you planning to do anything? You could maybe save Mordor. C good luck. Even if you save Mordor, you know, just I have massive armies in the in the western part of Mor in uh, Mordor. I have so many armies, I can just swing around to north very, very easy. Considering, well, it's not that far. Your camp is making 3,200 gold. I can't believe that. It's actually making that much. The trade is just ridiculous. <laughs> probably trading with Kyoto and the Gulmin Spirit, probably and also, probably also uh, Baradur and the other one. Um, How's the settlement below the Black Gate? How's it called? Not sure. Hmm. And also Saragost. No, Saragost is too far, I think. Eh, who knows? I'm not really sure about it. So yeah, bands and rebels. Yeah, they're the strongest army in the entire game. They have the most armies in the entire game. You know what? Sure. Have yourself a husband. Because I'm actually going to check out my freaking family tree. Because, well... Like I said before in previous episodes, that's how I repopulate the entire Dunadian army. I have like 15 children. I have like 15 freaking. How many children do I have? 1, 2, 3, 4. I probably should count also the females, don't I? Yeah, I should count the females. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 13, 14, 15, 16. Almost all female, what the hell? 16, 17, he's in theory not my grandchild. But, uh, uh, I'm not gonna count him. Okay, 17, 18, 19, 20, he died. 21, uh, 21, sorry. 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. Yeah, so I'm being a very good example to what my Dunadian soul are doing at the moment. We are repopulating the world this way. Your orders, my lord. <sighs> Where's my air, actually? Good question. Yeah, apparently, I can't believe that actually happened. Hubbard died because of that. Oh, that just sucks. Oh my god, that just sucks. Why him, of all people, Halbert? I don't want him to die. He's awesome. Yes, my lord. You guys still have the plague, by the way? What do we do? These bastards. We killed them off. How dare you. Your order, All right, we just Lord. need to end the turn here again. Wait, what the hell is this doing? I will not waste words on you. I did say they were going to maybe do it. Come towards me. They apparently are doing it. How dare they? They killed off freaking Halberd. I can't believe that happened. Well, I mean, the country really stop it. It's like, it's the plague. I probably shouldn't have, maybe I shouldn't have gone inside Baradur. That's one way of doing it. That's uh, well, not much to do about it now. Is there? It's kind of sad that Halbert dies because of that. It's the only way he can die, considering he's a monster in battle. Even though he was seen on an old, according to the tools, but I don't know. But yeah, it's. I, I mean, I do hate that. It's like, oh yeah, you lose freaking Halbert, one of the most, probably the second strongest fighter of humans. In the world, just second to Aragorn, you know, Aragorn's the first, and then there's Halbrand, the second strongest of the great company, greatest fighters in the entire world, like, and he dies from the plague. 
at least give him a hero's death of killing off 200 to 300 orcs on his own. We bring word for you. That's kind of random. I didn't expect that, but well, I guess you need money, elves. <laughs> we cannot thank you enough. Another proposition for us, then? Here. Yeah. I do not believe I'm able to accept. <laughs> Can I just buy a Well, that seemed fruitful. You're so Farewell. Poor. You're so poor, you might as well just accept your entire land to be ceded to me. For like a bargain. Hmm. Yeah, well. That was actually random that Trinidad did that. What do you know? Oh well, happens. Kind of wandering off, where the hell's the one ring? I haven't seen it pop up in ages after, well, Gollum took it. I'm not too sure if Gollum took it, might be somebody else. But apparently Gollum took it away from Aragorn. How he did it? No idea. Well, apparently he snuck up past the army of the dead, past Gandalf, and past Aragorn itself, and the entire army of Aragorn. And that's bad. It's not been a good couple of turns here, aren't there? The enemy Hadrim. has surrounded us. Hadrim we have this siege. Annoying. I can hold that area off, I think, that is the army I have there. I do have some cavalry that army, which is going to be useless, pretty much, but... Yeah. And I do have, like, the Oskillian veterans, which are decent. Well, decent archers, so they can do some damage. And I don't think they have a general, as far as I know. So they might not come inside, so that's also a thing that could happen. And lines announced, apparently. Oh, that's good, it's improved. That's good. <laughs> it's like, wait, it, it got worse. No, it, it doesn't. It doesn't have to go worse, is it? Can I go with Italian Rangers? I mean, is there any use of me recruiting anymore? <laughs> Maybe there is, because, I mean, apparently. Yes, my lord. This is happening. This is, this is with happening. Honor. Now. Well, they're not sieging it yet, so next turn we when they siege it, everyone can get inside. I will not waste so what they have? You. They have household war blades. Actually, I've never seen these guys fight. Could be interesting, considering. The household sc scouts, which are apparently not. Uh, I would expect they would be ranged cavalry, but apparently not. Those decks are going to be useful against them, because apparently uh, the, uh, the break of cards are very, very cavalry heavy. Yes. I mean, we'll very, very cavalry heavy. These guys will come outside. There's no way they'll they stay inside in those two turns. Let's end another turn because well we can't do anything else. Oh well. That arm is gonna stay there because I know the Witch King will come back this turn. I'm pretty sure all the Nazgul's will be back this turn. It takes like what, three to four turns before they're back? Rohan, stop that. You love me? Don't buy my lands. Come on. I'm not really sure what I have to say at the moment. I'm kind of running out of things to say. Bill of Anduin, they've done a really poor job. They just held their lands. Sure, that's good. Thing is, though, they haven't fought against the Mirkwood yet, which is weird. I mean, they still haven't defeated Mirkwood together with, Caled with the Galadrim. Mirkwood? And Dale? And Rohan? Like, wait a minute, that makes no sense. How's Mirkwood staying alive? Well, maybe because Rohan's not going after them. Maybe because Galadrim are doing nothing, as usual. And same thing with the dwar with the elves. With, well, same thing with the uh, Trandor. They do literally nothing. They're not expanding at all. They're not trying to expand. Which is a weird one. And the dwarves, well, the dwarves of Erebor are kind of doing nothing as well. They're just trying to fight Rune, but they're doing nothing. It's like literally the entire east is a freaking stalemate of them doing nothing. It's weird. Same thing happens with Gondor and... Uh, and Dolomrat, Dolomrat and Gondor should be pushing against Hardrim so badly that they should be completely obliterated by now. Because they don't have to worry about Mordor anymore. Which is a weird one. It's, it makes no sense that they actually don't have it yet. It also makes no sense that Rune is still alive. Because, well, Rune actually is supposed to be it's actually normal at Rune and the dwarves are to a standstill. Because that's what they start up anyway. But still, without Mordor's support, Rohan can come in as well. So, it's a weird one. Gonna say. Mans and rebels, what are they doing? We have turn reports, faction announcements. I have a dwarven friend and an elven friend. Who are you guys? I have no idea. You apparently are some of my sons, or grandsons, I don't know. Apparently, in Goblin Town, we have a rural Arnorian hall. 
That sent that is it doesn't fit in that sentence now, does it? <laughs> Alright, so also what people are wondering, like, okay, you I have no hope of actually becoming on anymore. We are, we almost went two hundred battles. Neat. Alright, so this battle is gonna happen with Randy and Queen as reinforcements. Yes, my lord. And they're gonna come with a lot of men. These trolls will come outside and they'll come to play. And I will not like it. That's for sure. Orders. These reinforcements will not arrive in time. We can and go Aragorn no further will fight today. against the I will not waste words on you. So what do they have? They have quite some cavalry, which is going to be completely useless. They have they have some raiders, which are ranged cavalry, and the rest is all melee cavalry. Okay. So I'm, I'm what I'm going to do is I'm just going to stick behind my wall of stakes and I'm going to obliterate them. And my ballista can do something, I guess. All right, see you on the battlefield. Like, As I wasn't you clicked come on. on. I wasn't clicked on them yet. <laughs> okay, I thought I was clicked on them. Actually, wondering. Oh, I thought these guys were actually better, considering their household war blades. You're not fighting in deserts, so uh, you're not being lucky. These guys are so crappy. Look at these. <laughs> They're not strong at all. Now, the ranged. Okay, the missile attack is only two, but their defenses is nothing. These guys die to everything. These guys are pretty decent. Well, decent, I say. They're like basic Rohan units and cavalry guys. Ah, oh, these guys are not strong, so see, yeah, see you on the battlefield. Muster your courage, men! We march! Alright, here we are. Now, we we have no sound again, which is weird. And this thing is as flat as everything. My god. No actual natural defenses to actually exploit here. Well, I guess I have to make my own square of debt. Okay. Blister, first of all. Actually, no. Let's let go out of here for a second. Okay. Candle and Aragorn here for a second. Then, let's make a small four men in the front. Let's make the square. Okay. So, everybody, out of here for a second. Let's make the front first, shall we? Apparently, I can't put stakes here. Okay, we'll put it over here. Yeah. You can't put stakes. You guys can't put stakes. Really? Go over here then. I guys can't put stakes. Okay. So can you put stakes like this? You can't. Okay. Let's put go over here then. Ha! Everyone can put stakes. That's a very take stake line. Okay, so you guys go over here like this. And then with these guys, go deploy stakes. Perfect. Perfect. Alright, so the other archers. We need to make a little gap for our cavalry to still move out and clean them up. You go over here and deploy stakes. Mm, I want them a bit more dense. Stakes. That's better. I don't have that much in uh, just left. Okay. So you guys go over here. Deploy stakes. Good. These two. Well, it's better. Than and then these guys as well over here as well. Ah, this. There were those guys. I was misclicking. I wish they were a bit more dense than that. That's better. And then these guys will put the same here. And I have a very big gap for my cavalry to run out. Cavalry stay in the center. All my archers will group up. These guys are dads. These guys are dads' sides. And these guys are dads. Okay, blisters over there. Infantry. Oh, I have Cardolian guys as well. I forgot they can put down stakes whenever they please as well. You know what? Let's put them not, not there. That would be st no, maybe. Maybe we should put the stake over here and let's actually run them back. And they, the separators maybe can run. I can also run into them. Let's not risk that, shall we? Um, I could actually make an entire freaking close location. I can just do this and it's entirely closed. 
and then Aragorn and Gandalf can do literally nothing. Hmm. It's a, it's a thing. Do I risk it or not? Nah. I want to, I want to get out with Aragorn and Gandalf if I have to. If I don't have to, I, I will stay. I, I don't care. So that's, that's a good thing for me. Let's get him over here like this, because... Yeah. It's a bit of a dangerous zone, isn't it? Let's get over these guys over here. These guys have a very dense formation to hold here. That's a bad formation. Okay. So, you guys hold this side. It works, I guess. Um, and you guys hold this line together with Arrow and again. And you go in here as well. Okay. Start a battle, I guess? Um, question mark? Let's start a battle here. Let's move our Cardrolian guys backwards. Because, well, that's pretty much the safest way for them to be at. The Ballista can start fire the hell out of the You, guys, needs to densen up a bit and turn around this way. Everyone's firing at will. They're so weak that I don't really have to worry about it too much. Line infantry is here quite a lot, so... Quite a lot of infantry. So what I'm going to do is now I'm going to send the infantry a bit more to the front. That cavalry will not do much. So the infantry is going to move over here, right in front of my archers. So that's pretty good for me. Let's look at a general and start pinning him with my cavalry, with my ballista, if we can find him, of course. He's in the center. He's probably that cavalry over here. Separators. I do need to fire upon them a bit. Let's get them to fire upon separators. Retreat. Retreat. We're taking arrow fire. But I don't want to stay there for too long. The, the separators are being decimated as we speak. Because they're going to take the entire brunt of the, of the assault as well. The scary is dead. Can't do anything. What, what did they plan to do? They can't do anything. Why would they even bother? My infantry is taking a punishment because of the arrow fire they're taking. I wish I might move my infantry a bit more to the front. Not being smart here. Okay, you go over here. March will be in melee, I think. You move over here. You. You're actually in a good position. You stay there. Get those scraps and them over here. If we continue like this, the we will smash the enemy. They're, they're useless at the moment. I'm not sure why you're in melee, but apparently you are melee. I don't like that. But they're firing upon me very, very much. So, the cavalry is not going to be useful here. They can charge in, but look over here. Many of them will die from stakes. Because, well, they're not really good at that, is it? This is taking fire damage. That's very risky that I didn't see that. Gandalf and Aragorn moving to stakes. Luckily, they can move through stakes in one direction. Good tidings. That's the good. Enemy general very, very fast. Dead. Some of the guys are in infantry wise. I don't really like that. How are you guys in melee? How are these guys in melee? I have no idea. Apparently, they are. Apparently, these, same, these guys can understand. These guys barely. Well, got to the front. These guys apparently are going to charge me over here. Which is interesting. They're scouts. They're not that strong. And many of them will die from stakes here, it seems. And Gandalf and Aragorn are firing upon them horrendously. Oh my god, that cavalry is going to converge against me very, very hard. I need to run out of here and keep firing upon them. Because apparently they're running faster than me. That's not good. Don't fight. Don't fight. Don't fight them. Though I'm way stronger than they are, but they're way more than me, so... It's a very nasty battle on my front as well. It's... Uh... 
I'm not sure why you are melee. Uh, because the archers apparently forced you to melee. Keep running. Why are you guys not firing in the one side? Attacking you guys. Okay, let's use this. We are very clumped up, but they are breaking immensely, so we are winning this battle. No matter what. If she line has held decently. Yeah, they're broken. Gandalf, let's use this. Yeah. That's what happened. Only half the enemy force remains! Let's charge it for a bit, shall we? Flame of Honor, they should be dead soon. And very, very fast. Considering I'm strong cavalry, and I outnumbered them. And the general's dead. There you go, they find the dead. I don't want that to happen now. Okay, you're still fighting. Oh, that's not good. Maybe you guys need to pull back right away. There's a lot of archers still left, which isn't good for me. And my entire Tunadian horns are kind of dying because they are being charged. What the hell is this? I can't believe this happens, but it's well. Whoa, 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 whoa. What are you guys doing? What the hell are you guys freaking doing? Get back to safety, you idiots. You're gonna get yourself killed. Standing with you guys, what the hell? Back into safety, you idiots. Alright, get both Gandalf and Aragorn here. We need to clear them out and how look how much you died there. You see how much damage you took from that? Could you like kill them off? Why are my arrows going they're all going on these uh, these cavalry? Oh my god, no. No don't you dare. Don't you dare. You idiots, start firing at their real threat. These guys are nothing. Start firing against their real threat. The archers that are killing you. I told you to guys fire against them, but you're not willing to listen. Now you're risking again with Aragorn itself. Because, well, you're trying to fire against the guys that are charging Aragorn. You're risking Aragorn. These guys are taking a pound on because of arrow fire. That these step guys are giving to me. Should I like, lay them to waste, these guys? That'd be useful. Never again will the land of my people fall into enemy hands! I can't believe they were so freaking effective against me. Now they're dying in great numbers, though. They're kind of dead. They had a lot of cavalry though. That did save them up a lot of men. And they are just are many, so they fired a lot of arrows against me. And that looks like an entire unit of infantry because, well, they were stupid, so that also doesn't help. They're not firing against me that much, but the number anymore, so they're not doing that much damage. Also, I was very clumped up to, to survive the cavalry charges, so that didn't help me out as well. They're still firing at me with like at least 300 men, which isn't good. Matter yet. The archers are taking quite a punishment from this, but they are winning this. Everybody I fire, I kill off way more than they are, so. They kill 10, I kill maybe 100 of them. But, oh, that's not good. Get out of there quickly. Even though they're tribes, but they're not very really strong. We don't have to worry about too much. Let's use this. Oh, we'll break him. Or not, it didn't. But it did give infighting, which is slowing these guys down quite a lot. It's like the Nazgul scream, that's the same. 
Oh my god. Like, my, my, my units are not being smart in this battle, are they? Like, why the hell did those guys move forward? I have no idea. You tell me, I have no idea to be honest. Also, where are my archers firing upon? I, like, they have an entire army of units over here that they didn't even fire upon. They're firing against one guy, probably, that's like away from the others. Like, yeah, let's fire against this guy that can't even harm us anymore. Makes total sense. Yeah, we're fine. Like I said, they're fine against this one guy. Sorry, two guys. Yeah. Okay, that's a bit better. That's better. Okay. Ganmov is here as well. Black. I'm not sure what, what it is, but it is. Some of it. The shot should completely kill the Stripesman off. It should kill them all, I think. Yeah, they're broken. The enemy army flees the field. Pursue and run them down. Mm, yeah, let's run them down quickly. These guys should be dead from the arrow fire, pretty much. Yeah, most of them are. It's a massive slaughter. Don't get me wrong, this is a massive slaughter again. Let's see. Well, look at the slaughter here. That's just insane. Some of my square has held. This side has held greatly. It's this side that that's the slaughter field happening. A lot of my my archers died. They, they are archer fire, as you can see, over here. Also, an entire unit of Dune being ward has died because well, they, I don't know. This they decided to go forwards and on their own, which in reality would never happen. But I should have. It is my fault. I should have actually paid attention to it, but I didn't. I just didn't expect it. And I need to control my units better. Let's end it, shall we? This is a clear victory! We lost about 400, which is not good, in my opinion, but still. Um, it was a lot of cavalry. So if I would have stayed in the open without my square, which got me a lot of kill. The, the square got me killed off a lot of my guys. Because they were so clumped up in the arrow fire. Great. Their arrow fire was very, very good. They were always very clumped up. So they hit almost every unit at once. However, if I didn't bring that square, then I would have a lot more ground to cover and they would have swarmed me with cavalry in my back which my archers would have taken even more damage if you ask me so that would have been horrible but yeah it was it was it could have maybe gotten better i don't know it might be even might have gotten their entire infantry line completely destroyed in a matter of seconds and then their cavalry would have charged into my infantry and they would have died as well i don't know i can't really predict that now can i but yeah i'm going to end the episode here hope you guys enjoyed it leave a comment like if you did subscribe to see episodes i'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. See you then. Bye.